feel like that's more respectful to have that. Berliner was first asked to serve on the Council of Governments back in 2007. He was vice chair of the board last year, and this year will sit as chairman of the board. I would like to nominate Montgomery County Council Vice President Roger Berliner for board chairman. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Berliner says he appreciates the quality of leadership at the Council of Governments and plans to use that expertise to build better connections between leaders. So to have the opportunity to lead this group and lead our region for a year is really, I am quite honored. One of the wonderful things about serving at COG is that you do build these relationships. And so what I have done is work with Fairfax County on transportation issues. I've worked with Prince George's County on similar sets of issues. And those relationships start here. And so you start learning from your colleagues what their issues are. You see the commonalities and you say, let's work on this together. So that helps our region, it helps our county, and I hope this work will continue in that vein. Goals for his term as chair include increasing economic competitiveness and addressing the transportation needs of our area, which includes the State of the American Legion Bridge and Metro. Making Metro in the next 40 years a world-class system. Metro cannot fail, and so we really want to help make sure that Metro is everything we want it to be, aspire it to be, plus to grow our regional economy. For far too long we have competed. We need to now move into a new era of collaboration and grow our economy, not cannibalize it as we have in the past. Our aspirations are high, and I think Roger has the skill set, uh, the substantive side. You know, he's been a great leader for council governments on energy and environment issues, and he's led transportation in Montgomery County, and I know he's deeply keen on collaboration on economic development. So those skill sets, uh, you know, he's a win-win guy, so he's he'll be able to um, move his peers, I think, in a positive direction. There's a, definitely a sense of frustration out there. Newly appointed Metro Chair Paul Wiedefeld, just into his second month on the job, was on hand for Berliner's first meeting as chair. He told the board he's focused on repairing Metro's reputation not only in the eyes of the public, but from the inside of the organization as well. There is this strong desire and commitment to get us back to where we were and actually to go beyond that. And um, I think the, you know, the word that I keep using is pride, is basically there's this sense of we want to Re, you know, invigorate the pride that we've had in this system uh, for, for decades and, and to do that. And that's, again, I'm hearing that from my employees and obviously I'm hearing it from, from the community. And from his perspective, Berliner is the right candidate to lead the Council of Governments through the challenges facing agencies across the board. Obviously he gets it, you know, he understands how important this system is. And again, I think what I like, what, what I've heard from him and, and speaking to him, it's not only just what's happening today, which is, you know, super important, but that's my job. But he's also thinking further down the road and thinking into the future, and I think that's very important. That's excellent. You know, this is what Washcock does and should be doing. So I think it's very, very encouraging. Fairfax County Executive Sharon Bulova shares that view and says Montgomery and Fairfax can use their strengths to build upon our region's numerous assets. Montgomery County and Fairfax County like sisters. <laughs> so, and, and actually I look at the region that way. Uh, you know, that the region is a family, and especially Montgomery and and Fairfax. We have so much in common and uh, sometimes we compete with each other, we compare uh, ourselves with each other, uh, but, but really it's a, I think it's a positive relationship and I, I think that working together we're good for the region. Though the position will require an additional time investment from Berliner, he says this role will make him a better county council member. Is it going to be a tough balance? Well, actually, it's not a tough balance because they do work together. It is a significant time commitment, particularly given the things that I want to accomplish during this year. We'll have trade missions. We're going to have a big metro task force that we're going to work hard on. So those are important issues, but they're important for Montgomery County as well. So I feel that my work here will allow me to benefit our county, and I certainly hope that. For more information on the Metropolitan Washington Council of Governments and its vision and mission, visit their website at mwcog.org.